Uh, let's see, central powers, the Russian. Because they have the SAR tank. Now isn't this tank awesome? Who's driving it? Yes, this is Bellafield 1942 with Bellafield 1918 mods. Who joined the channel? Unlike uh, newer Battlefields, this one is moddable. That's why you have all these different things. Floating tanks you can walk in. Get down. Damn it. Oops. That was my bad. Not to get a car to get it back. By the way, this is all free for download, including 42. I want to get on board, but as long as it's moving, I can't. And that's that this is our tank. Get on board. There we go, now we're inside. See, entirely walkable. In fact, I need to fix it.
shooting us the engines are burning No more repair. Every gun is, by the way, usable in uh, this game. I'm not very good at it. Like You saw, I think. joined your channel.
I was beaming back. What the hell is he doing? Gameplay, um, currently I'm Belfort 1918 with the What? I'm currently on Belfort 1918 with the thing if you still want to join it. Uh, yeah, probably. And I'm I still just live check the videos. I'm still on uh, Reddit and Twitch live, so yeah. Two things though, for one I wanted to play this map still and Kapab didn't get that. Keys for him is FHW alone, fine by me. And I'm actually getting kind of tired of him. I mean he's like... Seriously, why is he constantly doing the stupid meme things? silly after that much time. Well, you can mute it. Yeah, but I don't like to mute people, so I figured just be in a separate team speak channel. If he doesn't get uh, the message then, then, well, tough luck. Well, for me, I have a, have a politic. Uh, uh, if, if he's being rude or too noisy or something, I mute him. Uh, and after some time, like few weeks, uh, I unmute him, and I'll mm. see if he can behave. No. For now, uh, he has been uh, quite good, but sometimes he's too noisy, and then I, I'm really on the border of meeting him again. Mm. But it's also the fact he's marooning recordings and things, it's just, it's getting too much. Yeah. Hit him. Mm -hmm. 
I know it's not realistic effects, for instance, in Belfort 1918, and, well, the dying sound does get a little annoying, but it's also funny, man. Yeah. Why can't people appreciate it? So do you really want to do the, uh, again, the ally bombing? Uh, yeah, because it looks terrible. If you actually check it, it looks kind of sadly terrible. And if you, the Arca scene is just stupid that I didn't think of one thing. You see, but the Arca scene, the only thing I had to do is simply follow somebody who was flying the Arca instead of me. Well, how are you gonna do that? Death cam is quite slow. Uh, it's simple. Not death cam. All I have to do is kill myself and then look at somebody. Okay. And that's the only thing I have to do. But how you do that without spawning? That's the thing that's possible at selecting in the beginning of the round a spawn point. As soon as the as I join up, I have to join up on the, on the right team, and then I have to select no spawn point, and then immediately focus on a player. Sure. Not that hard. So I have to press the C button a couple of times until I see the guy who is actually inside of the Arca. Right. Probably you. At least it has to be the guy that's in the lead plane. Otherwise, he'll never be able to get into focus. The other guy flying the Akka. Trust me, that scene will be so much better than the scene I have currently. Because currently, you can see that I quickly switch between scenes to in order to get to capture it, and you just launch the Akka from uh, from the. Uh, Betty, it doesn't look good. Oh man, I love this saw tank. Why can't people enjoy this? All this modding work. To be honest, the, by doing the whole event of 1918, I was actually looking forward to playing this map again. <laughs> And I got an upvote of 13 on Reddit currently, so that's great. Even if it's just a moment of visibility 42, it's enough. Gameplay, I forgot to say, um, I made two separate folders. One includes everything in one go if you want to download it, and the other one is in separate uh, files. So, whatever you want to download. But you probably already see that. I also included a couple of failed scenes which I consider to be failed. Alright. Ah, I got a passenger. It, it's sad. I, I really like this scene. Of yeah, the but. Orca. You forget. 
Um, would it be better if the Akka was uh, launched from the uh, bomber and then basically uh, external view the entire time without changing view because I was changing view very quickly. That's what I want to have. Without a change of view, that would be the perfect scene. But we must try, we must try to capture the ship sinking. sinking yes, I agree on that. But that's not too hard. We just simply use something on the ship two times and then sink it. We have yeah. to. Well, well, we can basically drop a one eight hundred kilogram bomb on it once, and then, then start fil filming yep. the orca and two orcas because basically. Uh, well, in the original intro, they are launching two torpedoes. Absolutely. So, with two orcas, it's uh, very close. And it's, it's good. Oh, and about the submarine scene, uh, the depth charges will not be visible. I know that already, because underwater they're never visible. But, but does the submarine uh, swing, uh, like, like, you know, uh, when the uh, depth charges uh, explode, does the sub start? Uh... No, but I have something better. I want to focus on Lady Golf again. Instead of the original scene, I want to make one adjustment. I know one of the ships on Lady Golf breaks in half and sinks underwater. You know it, right? Well, how about instead of having a submarine that gets targeted by depth charges, instead we have a submarine that fires a couple of torpedoes at the ship and then the ship breaks in half and sinks. I mean, the scene alone is awesome. Uh, can you say again? I said, oh, in a second I'm getting attacked, the SAR tank is... Oh shit, I'm going to turn over the SAR tank, no! So, instead showing what? Give me a moment to see if I can actually get this thing straightened out. But I don't think so, the SAR tank is maroon. Ah, uh, we're dead. We have to blow up the SAR tank. I put the demo charts in, I'm gonna die with it. I killed the captain, but okay. Uh, what I want to say, instead of depth charges and the submarine just going by, I actually want to have the submarine fire a couple of torpedoes because those will be visible on Lady Golf and then split that Mogami in half and then the Mogami slowly sinks Well, um, it, uh, just to be sure, is it Mogami which breaks in half? I'm pretty sure it's Mogami, it's one of those big ships that breaks in half I know, it, it's a cruiser, I know I'm certain it's a cruiser, but I I have not myself. I have not uh, destroyed that ship, so I don't know what cruiser it is. Well, There's I've three options. Yeah, but there is actually a way of finding it out. Uh, months ago, I recorded it. All right. If you actually check my video library, you'll see I recorded it. Yes, it could be a Hagi or. Some, some else, but I have tried many times to recreate that uh, ship breaking myself in the server, but yes. I I have not 
succeeded. Well, I know how to trigger it because I managed to trigger it multiple times. The only way you're going to trigger it is by hitting it with torpedoes and only with torpedoes. Yeah, I, I haven't done that. Oh, we're dead. Okay, if we're dead now, I'll join up on FHSW. Fine, I'll